Hello, a while ago I did a video review on ContentPot, which is a tool that allows you to generate content using AI. And in the past few months, it's had a lot of updates. And I've been using this primarily for short form content, but I wanted to just give you a quick demo on the new Discover and Blogshot options. It's very cool. So if we head over to Discover, this is a research module. So we're going to research, let's have a think. Let's go uh, change management. So they have a change management blog and preferred region. So I'll leave it at that. So this now is going to go away and research the topic using data from, if you can just see up here, it says SEMrush. So you can see it comes back with the main topic that I've said, but then it's given me lots of different options. And then within each of these boxes, of which there are quite a few, if we scroll down, you can see potential articles. So all of these could be articles for a website. So we've got lots of options. We've got the volume and difficulty. And so ideally you, you want to try and find something that has a decent volume, but a low difficulty. So if we scroll down, let's see if there's anything that we can see. So it looks like about around the 40-ish. So 46 is not too bad. So 46, let's have a look. What do you mean by management of change? Okay, so let's say you want to write an article of the, on this. What you can now do is simply click this button here. So it's now taking me over to the new editor. And you can see if we scroll down, it's written using its AI writer. If we go all the way down, we've got uh, two, two, five, six words. And so scrolling up, you can see it's broken into sections. These are quite large paragraphs, so I'm going to need to spend some time editing this to make it something I can publish. And I will publish it on the site. And when I've done that, I'll put a link below. And what you can see now is it's broken into two sections. You've got content, and this uses AI to create more content, and media. And this is where you can add your own media videos uh, from YouTube or Vimeo, your own image, or you can grab one from Pexels. Now, I don't do any of that here because I like to add those on my website, but I will give you a quick demo of the new content blocks. So these just get dragged over. So understanding change management, uh, so I've already filled this out, key benefits of change management and uh, the context, the keywords, and let's just put uh, factual. So now what you can do is using this information, you can drag any of these content blocks over. So let's do a listicle. And so you can update this information and that guides the AI with uh, what it should be writing about. So now we've got a listicle on the key benefits of change management, which include the improved organization, reduced risk, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's have a little look what talking points we've got. Let's drag those over. So you can see it's the same inputs, but a different block. And instead of getting a bullet point list of benefits, it's now given us slightly longer form. It's given us three talking points around the key benefits. And if I were to change the topic in the context, it would generate different, different bits of information. So you can look at headings, paragraphs, intros, listicle we've done, questions, talking points we've done, conclusions. There's a really good set of content blocks to help you quickly build up the article. So that's the blog shot and the longer form editor. Here's just a reminder that it has a load of really great short form tools. And this is actually what I use content bot for a lot more than the long form. So you've got things like the outline, um, oh, something new, instructor, I've not tried that yet. So we've got tweets, talking points, they're new. The team behind this are always updating, so it's always good to check it out. You've got the pain agitate solution, pain benefit solution. Those are the two I use a lot when I'm coming up with uh, work for clients. It can help you generate ads, meta description. I use that quite a lot, brand story, all sorts. If you want to see these in action, check out my previous video on this topic and I'll see you over there.